Hello everyone, welcome to the second part of our tutorial, how to mine sphere. In the second part of our tutorial, we're going to be explaining how to push an app to the Siemens MindSphere B3. Here is an index of every topic that we'll be covered during this tutorial. If we want to push an app to the MindSphere, the first thing we need to do is to install Cloud Foundry on our PC. So let's do it. If we go to the Siemens site for MindSphere developers about how to Cloud Foundry, we can find under the top your first Cloud Foundry application the link to download Cloud Foundry from GitHub. So we click on it. We look for and download the appropriate one for our system and install it. Once that we have installed Cloud Foundry, we need to configure it. For that we're going to log into it, set up our own organization and space, and set up our credentials. In order to log into Cloud Foundry, we go to the same site as before, your first Cloud Foundry application, we scroll down and copy this instruction, that's basically Cloud Foundry login and the MindSphere API endpoint. We put it on our terminal and click enter. Now the system is going to ask us for a temporary authentication code. In order to get it, we go to the Siemens site and click on the next link. On this side, we need to go to Login with Web Key. We click on it, and here we need to log in with our MindSphere developer credentials. This is going to take us to our temporary authentication code. We copy it and we put it on our terminal. Once we have clicked on Enter, we're going to see this part, Organization and Space. It's important to mention that the first time you log into Cloud Foundry with your PC, the organization and space are going to be empty. You still need to define them. And now we're going to show you how. In order for us to define an organization, we need to type this code, cf target dash o and or tenant prefix. In order for us to define and space, we first need to create it and we need to type this code, cf create dash space and a random name, a name of our choosing. Now we need to, to define this space, so we type this code, cf target dash s and the space we created. With these steps, we are basically telling Cloud Foundry where do we want to push our app. Now we need to set up our credentials. Why? Because the user permissions from Cloud Foundry are different from the ones we set up in the MindSphere side. In order to push an app, we need to have a, an user with permission on Cloud Foundry to manage organizations and spaces. And we can set that up with this code. Okay, so the code is cf set org role. The user that we want to give the permission to space or tenant prefix space and the permission we want to give. It is important to mention here that the first time that you're setting a role to a new user it can only be done with the main account from MindSphere, the master one. Okay, that was the permission from organization manager. Now we also need to give permission for space manager to the user. The code is basically the same but we also have the space name that we created before and the permission, space manager. If you would like to have more information about the commands and instructions that you can use in your terminal with Cloud Foundry, just type CF and click enter. Now that we configured Cloud Foundry and our credentials on our PC, we would be ready to push an app to the cloud if we had one. Here we're going to show you how to create a very simple Hello World level app using Node.js and the IntelliJ environment. And we're going to show you later how to push it to the MindSphere. To create our Hello World app, 
We open IntelliJ, click on Create New Project, we select Node.js and NPM, Node.js Express App, click on Next. We give the project a name, define a project location, and for a template, we're going to choose EJS, which is really similar to HTML and will make communication easier between backend and front end from a programming point of view. We click on finish and create the project. The project that we created because of the template we used, it's already a Hello World app, so we're gonna deploy it. We click on run. Now we can go to the browser. We write localhost 3000 and we can see our app running on our PC. We still need to push it to the cloud, to the MySphere. For that we need to create this file with this exact name, manifest.yml and with this exact format. We give it a name of our choosing, how many instances, how much memory and we give it a host name. The host name we're gonna need it later. With this file created, now we are ready to push the app to the MindSphere. We go to the terminal, we write CF push. Click. This code is gonna is gonna compile our app and gonna push it automatically to the MindSphere to the location that we defined previously on Cloud Foundry. After pushing the app to the cloud, there's still a couple steps that we need to follow in order for us to actually see the app on the MindSphere launchpad. We go to our MindSphere launchpad, we click on Developer Cockpit. We go to Create New Application and here we need to give it a name, a version, a display name, we need to add, to add an app icon. We also need to add an uh, enter component name. It's also a name of our choosing. And a link. This link, the Cloud Foundry Direct URL, we can find it on our terminal where we, op where we push the app. Here, we copy it, we put it there. Now we need to add a new point. This is going to be a slash, asterisk, asterisk, which means that we are accepting all the endpoints. Add it, click on the pencil, select the one we added, save. And we click on save again. Now we need to register our app, which, as you can see, it says on register. So we click on it, click on register, proceed with registration. Now we go back, we go to roles and scopes, we look for our app, and we're gonna create a new scope. Also a name of our choosing, for admins and users, click on save. We need to add a new core role. In this case, we're gonna select core team user, which gives us access to the time series which is very important if you want that your app have access to the data in the MindSphere. Click on save. And we finally arrive to the last step. We click on user management. As you know, uh, within the MindSphere, every user have different access levels. So we basically need to tell the MindSphere that we want that our user have access to the app. We we'll click on edit. We select our app user, click on the arrow and we close it. And now if we go back we're going to be able to see our app on the launchpad. Now we click on it and here is our app. We can see it's online running on the MindSphere. That was the second part of our tutorial, how to MindSphere. How to push an app to the MindSphere. We hope that this video was of any help for you and thank you very much for watching.